Have a tantrum. It's a bad one. It's a bad one. I don't really know what it's about either. <laughs> Get up, you little scrap. Get up. <laughs> Gracie, you're being ridiculous. We are in central London in Green Park because well, this time next week we are we will be travelling to Australia. So this is like the calm before the storm. 24-hour flight with a almost three-year-old. We Heart palpitations, <laughs> just thinking about it, to be honest. Anyway, we, when we go away, we don't just go away with like clothes for us and a toddler, we go away with an editing studio. So we need a big bag that can house drones, editing equipment, cameras, um, all of our Everything stuff. Everything we need for a month, Yeah, our, none of our bags can cope with that stuff. So we're going to go, we're in central London today to go and buy a massive ass bag. And you're coming with us, lucky You're coming you. with us, you lucky, <laughs> you lucky bastards. <laughs> Let's do it, come on. He's talking about how he can hear Hey Grace, are you excited about Australia? No. You excited about hanging around with all those Australians? No. You excited about having all those shrimps? No. You're gonna have lots of shrimps out there, Grace. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this excited about going away anywhere in my either. life. Okay, we near Selfridges. If you want to pop in and go to your favourite shop, Juicy Couture, we can. <laughs> do you guys have a little bag? <laughs> he says, do you guys have a little bag for me? Oh, oh, little bag. Which bag do you want? Do you want Selfridges bag? <laughs> We've got the two bags we needed. Now we just need to get Grace and some sunglasses and a cap and then we're gonna go meet Sammy and Jason. 82 pounds. 82 for pounds cap. for a kids basketball cap and kids lose caps all the time so we should just go to H&M. I'm way too tight for that. We should go to H&M it would be about three quid. Yeah they should be. Basketball cap should be about three quid. Who would pay 100 pounds for a, a basketball cap for a kid? Rich people that shop in here. Yeah. <laughs> we shouldn't be here. We Let's get out of here. She does have a baby in her tummy. Sammy put... Sammy... He's trying to say somebody put it there. My chin in this lens. It's the lens doing this to my chin, it's not my actual chin. Hello there. <laughs> oh, what a lovely drive. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Cheers, buddy. Yay, let's go and see the gang. Yes. Yes. Good to see you, bud. How you doing? How you doing, mate? Yeah, good. So malicious. How you doing? You all right? <laughs> I think I might start a fire. I'm losing all control. I'm getting oh, this is the out. worst part of being. I hate this part of being a partner. partner. Yeah. If you shout in there, hurry up, mum, then I'll get you some chocolate. I'd actually be more happy if they went in and bought stuff. Yeah, they never go in with a purpose. Shout, hurry up, mum, Grace, and I'll get you some chocolate. Hurry up, mum. 
there you go. I'll get you some chocolate now. I'm going crazy, been going crazy. We've um, all come into Hotel Chocolat, which is a chocolate shop in central London. We sell chocolate. We don't need an excuse for that. See that, buddy. Thanks, man. If you get bored, come out, man. Have a think about it. We will definitely have a think about it. See you later, guys. We're home, got my carry-on bag, and we got the big bag for all of our stuff. Mission complete. I highly suggest that if ever you need to go to luggage shopping and you have a two and a half year old, I would say don't do it, cancel the holiday. It's not worth it. That's just aged me about five years. He is a savage. I'm ruined, Hannah's ruined. It's Monday and we're drinking wine to get through it. I don't condone drinking wine to get through stressful situations. What am I talking about? Yes, I do. Good morning, everybody. Check out my uh, sexy fox jumper. This is a hand-me-down of Steph's. I'm wearing this jumper and my uh, Christmas pajamas because it's cold in England now. Gracie and I have a play date today with Gracie's best friend, Leo. We're gonna go to Clapham Common. We're gonna take a football. We might get hot chocolates if the boys are good. Um, and then after that, I've got a ton of long haul flight related errands to run. I'm hoping if I tire Grayson out then he'll be happy to sit in his pram with some snacks while I kind of push him around town for a little bit. So that's the plan for today. I think Steph's upstairs doing some editing from yesterday. But yeah, let's get going. things that takes almost longer than editing is finding music. I go through so many songs to try and find the music that fits the footage. But YouTube has really pissed me off when it comes to music. Every single video we do has about around about 10 copyright claims on it. And what that means is any ad revenue gets split 10 ways and seeds out to the different 10 different people who have filed a copyright claim on it. We make nothing, the labels make all the money from the ad revenue. That's fine, I get it, I wanna use good music so I'll sacrifice the money that the videos make. But what they've just started doing now, which is unforgivable to me, is putting an advert in halfway through the video. I treat vlogs a bit like you would treat a song. It has a rhythm to it and if you've created this rhythm and then some bloody advertiser comes in and just dumps an advert right in the middle of your of your vlog, it just destroys the rhythm. And that kills me. And I have no way of finding out what labels will do that to my videos. Anyway, I've got to find some more music for this bloody vlog. idea. Get some shit I don't really care about, a macro lens and a blowtorch. We're trying to keep up with the boys, they're like all the way down there on their scooters. I need to 
to find more stuff to burn. <laughs> I would love to burn this, but if Hannah saw me burn a Sylvanian, she would never talk to me again. What have you been collecting? Conkers in a pot? That one's not bad too. Right. One last thing and I'm done with my burning. I met a uh, viewer last week, her name was Beth. She was really sweet and she told us that our vlogs have made her start to vlog herself. With doing her vlogs, she has become more confident. It's really helped with her self-esteem. I just feel like I wanna say to anyone who's considering trying to vlog, I would suggest doing it. iPhones, the cameras on these things are amazing. You can make videos with these and you can get free software to cut them. All it takes is a bit of time and dedication. So anyone that's considering it, that's on the edge of just thinking, oh, I don't know if I should, do it. Just do it. Don't even think about it anymore, just do it. There's loads of tutorials online on how to do it. There's no excuse not to. If you're coming up with an excuse, get rid of it. Hopefully that's the shove some of you need to do it. Guys are home. Ooh, 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 ooh. We had a winter picnic, didn't we, Gracie? I'm coming to A lucky yeah, boy. I'm How's he been? Fight. And you did have a little fight. You had a fight. <laughs> How's he been? Yeah, he's been good. You been good, Babs? No. Semi good. Semi good. Well, much better than I thought. The house is nice and clean, so. Yeah. Happy wrecking, Gracie. <laughs> I got all our toiletries. Oh, amazing. Well done. I'm getting so stressed at how much you have to do. Are you? Mm. Did you manage to get very much done today? I've got so much in terms of editing. Yeah, yeah I did tell you we should yeah, have a week off. I know, we should have. Why don't you cut the vlog short um, and just do like a two or three days and then finish it? Yeah, I might do that. We'll see how it goes. I'll see do how. You, are you hungry? Like, I am actually. Yeah, I'm really hungry. Oh, I'd love one. Thanks, honey. Right. It kind of falls apart. I think I need so two hands for this guy. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. came downstairs to start getting ready for bed. It's about quarter to eight and I heard this little sound and I was like, what the hell is that? I thought it was a cat or something. And I turned around to look at our bed and look who's escaped to their own bed and sneakily made it into ours and fallen asleep. He's so cheeky. We'll see you all tomorrow guys. Good night. right now okay, no. we're going to get Grayson's haircut but we're going with his best friend Leo who's also getting a haircut so you're getting your haircut together um, right should we go yeah yeah <laughs> love you love you Mwah. oh lovely <laughs> 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 how very flattering right Gracie you ready to sort your mop out no yeah no yes no <laughs> Let's go chop this little boy's mop. <laughs> but anyone that knows me knows that I'm like able to do accents um, to such a kind of accurate degree that I can actually just fit into any situation in any country because I can just, I don't know, I think I was born with this ability just to like do accents. Um, so Australian's quite an easy one. So I'm thinking when I go over there, I'm just gonna put on my Australian accent and uh, everyone will just assume I'm Australian and just be um, treat me like a normal person. Ah, oh, Struth, man. It's bloody hot outside. No, that wasn't right. Hang on. Ah, oh, Struth. It's bloody hot outside. No. Ah, oh, bloody hell, man. What, what you think you're playing at? You bloody pommy. 
I'll bloody headbutt you if you look at me like that again, you stupid old pummy. There you go. Nailed it. successfully had their hair cut and we've come to a soft play called Bertie and Boo. Even though the sun is shining, it's literally around the corner and the boys absolutely love it. So they are in the playroom. The good thing about it is that when they turn two, you can leave them in the playroom because there's like a nursery worker in there and you can come out and like order your food and have coffees and you can basically let them play in there for as long as you want. So we've come for a little bit of peace. <laughs> We're gonna get a smoothie and some food and just chill out for a bit, I think. A lot of Australians have been asking if we're going to do a meet-up. Well, the thing is about that, you know... Now to go back into my English accent because it's going to start annoying me. We have been asked quite a lot if we're going to do a meet-up and I don't think we are, to be honest. It's not because we think we're too special or anything or that we just don't want to meet people. It's just it's not really meeting somebody. If you do a meet-up and loads of people turn up, you don't really meet the person. You just sort of take it in turns to say hello and then... It's a bit soul crushing for everyone. You're gonna walk away feeling like that was a bit depressing because you can't really sit down and have a chat. Obviously, if we bump into any viewers, we'll have a big old chat with you when we're out in Sydney and stuff like that, like we always do. But I just don't think meetups are really our thing. I just feel that they're a bit like, I don't know, they just don't feel natural. They just feel a bit weird, don't they? You're not really meeting the person. You're just sort of saying, hi, and then you have to speak to somebody else. And it just seems like, it's like a conveyor belt of people that you're just sort of introducing yourself to. And there's no connection made to that person because it's just, there's too many people there to make a connection. So I just, yeah, I just think that it doesn't feel right for us to do. And besides, we don't know how to do it. We don't know how it would work. Yeah, I just, so I don't think it's gonna be something we're gonna do. But if we do bump into you in Sydney, promise you we'll have a big old chat with you. That moment didn't last very long. I'm so much again, you come with me. <laughs> I've got a stage three clinger. Come with me. You come with me. We're gonna have our lunch in a minute. <laughs> there seems to be this weird thing at the moment going around this like virus that's taken over everything where everyone has to be so careful about what they say more so than ever because there's so many in self-entitled people out there with pitchforks believing that everybody else is deeply wrong and they are the ambassador for for good and for the correct way of thinking when they don't realize that what makes this world as interesting as it is is there's so many conflicting ideas and opinions and it's good that people have different opinions to you and you don't have to like lose your shit over it when somebody does say something that you don't agree with. Lunch is here. Mm. You're eating peas. The byproduct of all these people being on this weird agenda to make everyone like the same political correct person with the same views as everybody else is that what you're left with is this just really lukewarm watered down content where people are too afraid to say anything that's not mainstream opinion. You end up with bloggers talking about making cheese sandwiches. You guys having a party under there? I don't care about haters. I don't care about like the petty people who are just like got a bit of a chip on their shoulder. They don't bother me at all. The people that really get to me, the people that like I hate watching us, are the people who are easily offended. They are the worst. Everyone's personality, like it or not, is pretty flawed. We're a bunch of flawed individuals and you can pretend you're not, but it's all the pretense then. With Facebook is just like an interpretation of us and who we are. We never really put out raw, the raw version of us that we show to our, our deepest part like loved ones, because if we did, the pitchforks would be out. Your door would be kicked down. You'd be, you'd be pitchforked to death. Mm. I went on a bit of a rant there. Sorry guys, I'm gonna get back to my coffee. <laughs> I need to calm down. We have cut it a little bit short this week because... Sorry! 
Um, man, we haven't even started packing. No, we've got a lot to do. Mm, We're I'm, still I'm doing. I'm like... having digestion at how <laughs> anxious I am at, at this trip. <laughs> As they'd say in Australia, bloody stroth. Stroth. Ah, uh, stroth. Stroth. You did it. Stroth. Stroth. How you doing? I'm Strath. You guys are from England, yeah? I like that country. No, that tape it off. Normally, I'm much better when the camera's not on. Like, you know, sometimes you hear me, you're like, what? How are you that good? <laughs> you do say that. You think that. You do. You got um, lipstick, lipstick on my teeth. Lipstick on my teeth. You do it. Um, That's love for you right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're, we're, we're super, super excited. I think the thing that we're just really, really, really scared about is Grayson has been... Um, he, can't, he can't hear me. He's been a dick the last few days. And when when a toddler goes through these stages of being a dick, then they just wear you down until you're a shell of a human. And he's done that to us mm. um, a lot of this week. Um, and the only break we've had is for work stuff. Obviously, it's not his fault he gets like that. Obviously, it's all developmental stuff, but it is exhausting and hard work. Mm. And we're just praying that he's not like that on the flight out mm. there. I think we're doomed. Yeah, I think we're doomed. It's 24 hours on a flight with a almost three-year-old child that just wants to climb stuff and run All around. All he wants to do is run around and climb. <laughs> and jump off things and pretend to be super muscles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to film it there. We're going to film the journey out there. Yeah. We're going to film the whole thing because we're going to land on Wednesday so we don't actually have much of, a, of an a Australia vlog, week, yeah. vlog to film because we've only got like one or two days to film Australia. So the week after will be like a really australia vlog but most of this next week is going to be travelling, isn't it? And breathe. <laughs> We're dreading it, but we're extremely excited about I it. I think it'll be worth it when we get there, from mm. what everyone has said to us. Yeah, everyone. And everyone also, it has to, to be that. worth it because you need to go and build a business. I know. <laughs> don't wave your punny old fist at me and say that. that was What's a, a punny old fist? And they say it, punny fist. Isn't oh, I don't that know. Word? I've I thought heard it was a word. That. Maybe not. But um, yeah, this is this is going to be the, the like a full on intense month. Because sure is. There's going to be you know building new want feed plus vlogging and yeah life discovering Sydney and raising a two-year-old so yeah it's gonna be full on but you know it's good are you excited i am excited i feel like i'll be excited when we land <laughs> mm. right now it's just the boring stuff like packing and yeah. being worried about the flight yeah um we've got so much packing to do. i'm planning on having uh, a few cheeky gins on the flight oh man i'm gonna for sure down straight vodka now well, you're gonna be a joy <laughs> yeah I'm literally getting um, uh, I'm getting pains at the um, it's a, yours is different though yours is because you've got so much to do mine's more like being scared that the flight's going to crash and things like that or like <laughs> just being on a flight with a two year old and everyone's annoyed at you because yeah, your yeah. kid's having a strop like yeah, that's yeah. where I get anxious mm, about it mm. yours is more like no, I'm very aware packing of technical well. stuff and what you've got to do when you get there yeah, so. yeah. yeah. but I am also very aware of people that are sitting around us if Grayson's being hard work I just I don't know why, but I really care about what people think around us. Yeah. I wish I didn't, but I really do. I think every person who flies with their child is like that. Some though. people like, seem to be really just chill about it, and their kids like well, kicking I you in the face, and they're like, "Can you not tell your child to <laughs> stop kicking me in the face?" And they're just like really bohemian about it. But we're not like that. We're quite highly strung, aren't we? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, now we've waffled sufficiently. <laughs> hope you like the vlog. Anyway, we guys, hope you've enjoyed the the week that we just spent together. Yeah, we weren't going to do one, but then we decided last minute, let's just do one. So sorry, it's been short, and we haven't really done that. Short and sweet much about luggage shopping which was fun I'm sort of saying Jason but yeah I hope you liked it thanks very much for watching we'll see you see all you in Australia next week guys you're like a guy's coming with us to Australia Struth that's going to be amazing see you in Australia see Struth. you in Australia oh high five for Australia Struth Struth man <laughs> high five for Struth yeah Struth <laughs> <laughs> we're so racist that's not racist it is